What are some unethical life hacks? A professional life. Applying for a position you are not really good at. Add main keywords, related to the role and the industry, to your online resume in white font. Most HR departments of big companies have a basic screening algorithm that scans the document for such keywords. Is this ethical? No. Will it help you bypass the first line of defense? Likely. No idea about how good slash bad your competition is for a particular job? Post a fake ad for a similar role, on any site you choose. This way you will get a good number of resumes you can use to come up with a benchmark. Are you a jackass for wasting people's time? Yes. Will it help? Yes. Be making and saving money. List your item on eBay and any other commerce site that allows bits. Create multiple fake accounts to drive up the asking price. Warning, this could land you in serious trouble with the authorities. Go to the theater, watch the movie you wanted to, pay for one movie ticket, watch multiple movies. Get student discounts even after graduating. A lot of paid online sites of student discounts, can be accessed by using the college or university email. Things like train or flight tickets also have it, and just require your college ID card. As a research scholar, you can access almost all paywalled sites that host academic papers and journals. Buy a first class air ticket, eat free for a year. PS doesn't work everywhere. I once knew this guy in Mountain View, Silicon Valley that was a computer system admin for the company I was consulting at. Super smart and nice, he was always confident and knew how to fix problems. His only issue was, he was always out on call and I had to page him when I needed him. 30 minutes later, he would turn up and fix the problem. This goes on for a few months, until one day I go to call him and find out he is no longer working there. I asked around to find out what happened to him and it turns out, he had been holding down two full-time jobs at the same time. He had worked at the company I was at, and another similar one a short distance away simultaneously. He was earning two full-time salaries, both system admin positions, working a 40 hours week, 9 to 5, Monday to Friday for two companies at the same time, charging twice for the same hour. Both companies he worked for were just a few blocks apart and he had pages and phones for both jobs. He constantly ran backwards and forwards between the two companies and had gotten away for it for years. It wasn't until his boss was visiting his friend at the other company for lunch, saw him sitting at another desk, that he was found out. I was impressed. Up until he got caught, he was keeping both bosses happy. Even though he was no longer working there, he ended up being a hero in the eyes of the other engineers, just for having the balls to do something so bold. Don't like waiting in lines at government and other buildings? There's usually a quick line for disabled people. Buy a walker or cane. It'll pay for itself in time saved. Don't waste money on dog toys or leashes just take them from the lost and found at dog parks. Want to go to a concert for free? Get a orange construction vest and a hard hat, walk into the construction slash staff entrance. Enjoyed the show. Stuck on a busy train? Start praying loudly to Allah. You'll probably get the entire carriage to yourself. If someone hits the unsubscribe button on your company's marketing emails, send them even more. That person is actually reading them. Buy a movie ticket, but plan out the theater's schedule so you can see multiple movies throughout the day, back to back. Live somewhere Amazon Prime now is offered. Order groceries 50% off for life by making a new account every order. Buy an online mattress from Casper etc. Return it. It will get picked up by a local charity like Goodwill or Salvation Army and you can pick it up at their store for a fraction of the price. When ordering coffee at Starbucks say double cupped and with a sleeve then go to the condiment bar and fill one of your cups with half and half or milk. Boom free cup of half and half or milk for home brewed coffee or even milk for your cereal. 
Want a free coffee? Grab an unfinished drink that someone has left behind, walk up to the barista and ask them if they can heat it up for you. They will just offer to make you a new coffee. I don't endorse or advise you to perform any of the above.